Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. In this video, I'm going to make a small bowl. I'll turn it on the lathe and then I'll hand carve a pattern into it. I've not tried this before, but it should be a fun little project. I'll start by preparing the camphor laurel and then I'll glue those together to make a bowl blank. Three pieces aren't quite enough, but four is plenty, so I'll reduce the height later on. These were the screws I used last time I used this mountain ring. They aren't really long enough for this piece, so I did swap them out for longer ones before putting it on the lathe. First I'll turn a mortise so I can reverse the bowl on the chuck later on. I'll taper the bowl from this line both to the top and down to the bottom. Start off the new year right and join the Makers Mob for a full month of live events happening throughout January, starting on January the 7th, 2021, where you can learn to build woodworking projects from the makers themselves. In these live events, Jimmy DeResta, John Peters, the Samurai Carpenter and Adam Henkel will be walking you through some of their most popular projects. Sign up is absolutely free and you can find that by clicking the link in the description below. As I said earlier, the bowl is too tall, so I'll turn that down now to the correct height. I'm using a force and a bit to hog out some of the center and give me a head start. I've left it fairly thick, but hopefully not too chunky to allow for the carving, and so I don't carve through the sides. 
I made this quick jig to help me mark out the pattern onto the bowl using the indexing holes on the back of the chuck. There's a fair bit of carving to do, so to make it easier on my back, I'll raise the bowl up to a better height using my mini workbench. It's not the neatest, but by the time I get to the end, I should be getting better at it. That's the first column done, now for the next 11. I ended up with a method that worked out pretty well. I used the skew chisel on the more acute side triangles and carved both of those first then swap to a regular bench chisel for the others. Then I use the skew again just to tidy it up. I know many of you will be wondering how long it took to carve. I didn't pay that much attention, but it would have been about 10 hours or so. A lot of work for a small bowl, but I had my headphones on listening to an audio book and it went pretty fast. Next I'm going to paint it, which is what I was always going to do. The light on the facets don't show the pattern off anywhere near as well as it will when it's painted. The grain of the wood is competing with it, but when it's all one colour, the pattern will stand out better. I'm leaving the inside of the bowl unpainted though, so there's no doubt it's made from wood and that it's been hand carved. The paint actually highlights the imperfections in my carving and there are plenty of those, but that's a good thing as it doesn't look like it's made by a machine. I gave it about six coats of paint and then I put it back onto the lathe to sand the inside some more. I did a test in between coats of paint, taking off a few edges to see if I liked it and I thought it looked pretty cool, so that's what I'm doing here. I 
I put wax on the inside and I could have put some on the outside over the milk paint, but I quite like it as it is. I'm calling the project a bowl, but you may think it's more of a vase or a pot. I'm really not quite sure what it is, but I like it anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to come back tomorrow for the third video in this daily seven day scrapwood challenge series.